Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Lethal Weapon 4 and this movie is directed by Richard Donner and it came out in 1998 and I thought this movie was alright. I was expecting something really bad and really boring and it completely messed up everything about uh, the characters that I liked. But in some ways, the opposite kind of happened. I liked uh, what they gave uh, to our two main characters, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. They actually gave them something in this movie, and Riggs, in this movie, he, his uh, girlfriend is pregnant, and he's having a baby, and he, it, the idea of him getting married is uh, brought into question as to, like, uh, whether or not he wants to or not, and that element I found to be interesting, and... It also kind of shows that uh, he's kind of getting old <laughs> at this point and he's not as young as he used to be and the movie is aware of this and pokes fun at it and <laughs> one of my favorite jokes in the movie was uh, like the uh, when the captain asks them to our two main characters to come into his office and the big problem we have is that you guys they create a lot of destruction or whatever and the insurance isn't going to cover it. <laughs> And at the same time, we can't fire you either. So what do the, you do? We give you a promotion. <laughs> and unfortunately, we don't have any lieutenant spots. So you're promoted to captain now. <laughs> and uh, that was pretty funny. And I did laugh quite a bit. I thought the comedy was pretty funny in this movie for the most part. And there were some really good jokes. And... I liked uh, Joe Pesci in this movie. I thought he was pretty funny. Just about anything that I liked about uh, the first three movies is still in this film for the most part. When it comes to our two main characters. And that's really what this movie does best. Is keep you entertained and to give you some laughs. Uh, and the action is fine. It's serviceable. It's nothing terrible like the other guys. Uh, but it... it it's nothing super impressive, uh, like the previous movies had. Like, the action I felt was a bit better from memory. Whereas this one, it's like, eh, it happened, and that's about it. The only uh, performance in this movie that I thought was bad was Chris Rock. I never bought him as his character, and every scene he was in, he was just so distracting, and I never saw a character, I just saw Chris Rock. And his character doesn't need to be in the movie, and I never understood why he was there. It was just to add to more things going on in this movie. But it really just felt like filler, and this movie is the longest out of the four Lethal Weapon movies. Only by ten minutes compared to the first movie, and they just get progressively longer. And this one it feels as though it has the most filler in it to me. And the plot of the movie was just disposable. I didn't really care all that much for it. And the villain, I didn't really take seriously. I never felt as though he was a threat. Nor did I feel intimidated. And I just didn't care at all. I thought the music in this movie was fine. Just like the previous three movies. It, it wasn't anything memorable to me. And the only thing that was kind of impressive about this movie to me were the stunts. I thought the stunt work was good. And I also admire the usage of practical effects. It wasn't computer animated, and this was in a period of time where you didn't use the CGI, you used practical effects. And I thought that worked. And there isn't really much else to this movie. It's another Lethal Weapon movie. And if you've seen all the other Lethal Weapon movies, then I guess I would recommend this one. It's more of what uh, you liked, and... It added a couple of things to this series that I wasn't expecting. And because of that, I do give this movie a bit more credit than the other Lethal Weapon sequels. And that's kind of what I was looking for in those other two sequels. Is that something new to this series that I would like? And this movie had that for me. Even though it's not in the movie too much, it's still there. And it worked, in my opinion. So check this movie out if you want. It wasn't uh, bad, in my opinion. If you like the previous uh, Lethal Weapon movies, then check this one out. <laughs> and with all that being said, I'm going to give Lethal Weapon 4 a 6 out of 10.
Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Lethal Weapon 4 and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Hot Fuzz. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.